Thank, thank you for joining us. I'm Mark Trahan. In January, the Winnebago tribe of Nebraska sued the U.S. Army over how it is handling remains of children who died at the Carlisle Indian Industrial School. The Army has now responded, asking the court to throw out the suit. Not so fast, say Winnebago's lawyers. Stuart Huntington has more. The Winnebago suit seeks to compel the Army to return two boys, Samuel Gilbert and Edward Hensley, home to be buried according to custom. The boys were stripped from their families in 1895 and sent to Pennsylvania to Carlisle, the flagship institution of the government's Indian boarding school era of forced assimilation. The tribe also wants another consideration. It wants the Army to follow the 1990 Native American Graves Protection and Repatriation Act, known as NAGPRA, that spells out rights that tribes have when seeking returns. The Army has said the law doesn't apply. Now they are saying that in a court filing, asking a federal judge to throw out the Winnebago suit. Winnebago's attorneys reject that idea. Unfortunately, the Army's tradition of ignoring the humanity of the indigenous people and um, kind of operating outside uh, the norms is not new. An Army spokesperson declined to comment on ongoing litigation, but the Army's legal argument is causing some head-scratching by opposing counsel who note that the Interior Department has issued a groundbreaking report critical of U.S. Indian boarding school policies. So it's disappointing that the Department of Interior can take such a stand and speak to their role in this, but the Army can take such a different um, a different path, I guess, here. So um, I think that the contrast is, is a bit shocking. Stuart Huntington, ICT News. Later in the show, Stuart talks with ICT's Marionette Pember to get her thoughts on this suit and what it means for other tribes. In Kansas, an investigation at Haskell Indian Nations University has revealed years of sexual assault claims. The Department of the Interior's Bureau of Indian Education conducted the investigation and found the university ignored reports of sexual assault, abuse, as well as bullying and intimidation by Haskell administrators. Beginning in 2021, student allegations were reported to their athletic department, relayed to the school president, the BIE director, and even the assistant secretary for Indian Affairs. But no action was taken. The 80-page report was conducted by three BIE staff members who interviewed 34 students and staff between July and November 2022. Wildfires in Western Canada are causing Canadian citizens to flee for safety. The British Columbia Wildfire Service has warned residents of the Alaska highway town, Fort Nelson, to evacuate due to forecasts of an out-of-control blaze. More than 4,700 people have already evacuated after an order was issued last week. According to Bowen Ma, the province's Minister of Emergency Management, Drought Conditions, and no forecast of rain is extremely concerning and uncommon during the wildfires in the region. The nation's second largest reservoir in Arizona has reported plumbing damage. The river outlet works, which are small tubes near the bottom of the Lake Powell Dam, are responsible for releasing excess water. Cavitation, or air bubbles, causes implosion in the pipes, leading to damage to the protective coating. While the dam is only 30% full, experts worry that when the pipes are used for overflow or ecosystem boosts, they will continue to break or will stop working. Wildlife and seven surrounding states rely on the water from the Colorado River and regular drainage from the dam.